When you picture a career in computer science, you might think of someone alone in a room, coding, troubleshooting a hard drive, but computer science has evolved into an ever-growing field full of fun and ingenuity. It's also a unique field that lets you incorporate any of your other interests to solve problems and create something completely new. If you're starting to feel like computer science is a subject for you, check out these careers that incorporate computer science in amazing ways. Like one night I was playing with my iPhone, and I was like, well, why can't I use this as the brains to control these robots? Like this thing has a better touch screen and display and GPS and all these sensors. You know, why can't I just like hook this onto these robots? We wanted to do something that we were passionate about, and I'm, I'm glad we did. So this is uh, Volcano Bot 3. This is designed to go into volcanoes and map the pathway that magma takes to the surface to erupt. But this is the farthest down inside the volcano in this type of feature that anyone has ever been. In an animated film, the cameraman is a person um, that we would call layout. And what they do is they take the set, which in our world is fantasy, it's files on a disc, and they're able to drive the camera around, um, sort of like playing a video game, in order to get the camera angles that they want. Within all that, there are people like me, uh, engineers who create all the software that all of those artists use to do every one of those things. I think a lot of people think game development is just like, we code, and then we do art, and then we just yeah, put together this stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind it outside just the game development. Yeah, we're working a lot of online play, so that's kind of the last thing of our games, make sure people can play online together. So we're doing a lot of network coding, and then we have to test online play with each other. We're trying to run a beta soon, so people can kind of come together and play. We've always had a passion for gaming, and we got into computer science because we wanted to make video games. As a backend engineer, you do a lot of the things that are behind the scenes. So I don't get to like design what the playlist view is going to look like, right? But I get to power the things underneath. So like in the future, hopefully down the road, every time you get an email from Spotify, you're gonna know that that went through my service. The product we do today, it's called Verify. Uh, it uses infrared image analysis to actually calculate how many bees are inside of the colonies. You know, now what I'm trying to do is teach people how to hack and, you know, doing it in a positive way because that can also just improve people's lives and just the world in, in general. My mom, she, uh, she got me a computer and I was young, I was like nine or 10 or something. I was kind of addicted just immediately, like I got the internet. And um, what I guess got me down the rabbit hole of hacking was like, I was talk, trying to chat with people. Someone said to get out of the chat room. And I'm like, uh, I don't think so. Um, and they say, you have 10 seconds to get out. And uh, I'm like, or what? And so I don't get out. And 10 seconds later, my computer crashes. From then on, I was like, that, that was so cool. I just have a deep passion for bees as a core element of, you know, a third of our food supply in the U.S. So we put a business plan together that actually said we were going to be the biggest, baddest beekeepers in the country using technology. But we quickly figured out that that is very capital intensive. And so we said, well, let's actually develop technology to help beekeepers. If your passion is science and mathematics, realize that there's science and mathematics in a lot of different areas, even ones that maybe you didn't expect. And so it's okay to have multiple passions. So how do you get your foot in the door of one of these awesome jobs? Well, there's not really one right answer. Some of those people had four-year computer science degrees, and some were high school dropouts. Plus, nowadays, everything is totally accessible online. From boot camps to two-year certifications to classic four-year degree programs. So the bottom line is, if you want to get into computer science, you can do it. Like, right now. The world of computer science is completely open for you to carve your own unique path. In December, we're going to be hosting a week of live events about how to turn your interest in computer science into an awesome career. So if you're interested in CS, make sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned.